everyone, I'm back with another video and I wanted to share with you guys uh, some of my thrift store finds and I also have uh, some Michael stuff that I picked up about two weeks ago. And then I have some card shares also. Uh, so I'm going to start with the thrift store finds. I found uh, these cute little, um, well this doily and I think it's so pretty. Um, I got this for like 25 cents at one of my local thrift stores and I think it's really pretty. It has a really pretty design. So I got that one and then at another thrift store I found a um, uh, some curtains, some really small curtains but uh, what attracted me to this was this beautiful bottom trim here. Or I mean it's all one piece but it's like a beautiful eyelet material and um, the, the bottom is just it's so pretty it's scalloped and really pretty so there was a set of two of those and um, then I found at the same thrift store I found this milk glass vase and I this is one of those tall ones and I've been wanting one of these for a long time and it was just $1.99 Oh, by the way, the um, curtains here, these were um, $2 a piece. Yeah. And then I also found at that same thrift store this really pretty milk glass um, shell. Also $1.99. And then in a little baggie of little trinkets, um, I found this really pretty pink uh, wire heart and it has some really cute rhinestones at the bottom. And I thought this was really cute. I mainly got the bag because of this um, and then the other stuff I can just use or put it out in the yard sale. So I found that and then at another thrift store that I stopped by I found this um, vase as well. This is a smaller one and that was two bucks. So I thought that was cute. And then my sister stopped at a yard sale the other day and um, she found this vintage uh, box of buttons. And they're all the same. They're these uh, really uh, nice royal blue buttons. And uh, the lady gave her the whole box and there's like 12 or 13 of them in there for 50 cents. So that was a nice find. So then, um, like I said, two weeks ago I went to Michael's. Um, this was before uh, Valentine's Day. Uh, so all the stuff that I got was um, not on clearance yet. Uh, but however, I did score a little bit. Uh, so let me show you what I got. I um, picked up the um, Valentine stamps. This one here. And... Um, this one here with love. Ooh, where am I? And then I got this one here, which was like really cute. That little typewriter with the heart keys. And um, this one here with the little love birds, and it says love. And um, the, there was a sign there. Oh, and this one. This one's my favorite because I, I think owls are so cute for Valentine's Day. Um, the sign there said 50% uh, off, but I didn't read the fine print. It said not um, Craft Smart stamps and uh, some other brands, which didn't make sense because, I mean, the sign was right where the uh, Valentine stuff was, so it just didn't make sense to me. Anyway, I didn't read it, so when I went up to the cashier, uh, she says, oh no, it's not these stamps. Um, um, I don't know what other stamps they have for Valentine's, but I said, well, the sign is right there. So she went ahead and she um, gave me the 50% off. So I got these for 75 cents each, which is great, not bad, because um, the after the Valentine's Day sale, when I went back, there weren't any of the owl ones or the um, any of these here. I saw one of the typewriters, but so I, I think I pretty much scored on those. And then, um, because you guys are such enablers, I had to get the $2 
uh, stems and they are very pretty so I picked up one of each of these the unlock your dreams and explore your new reality and be yourself nobody else does it better so I had to pick those up I think those are so cute and then um, also from the two dollar bin I picked up the um, infamous uh, Michael's flowers I picked up uh, two packs of each color so I have those I'm sure everybody has seen these and the black ones and then I also um, picked up some of these keys that I didn't see the previous time so I got those and then um, back to the Valentine's Day um, section I picked up these little heart gems because I will be using these next year um, I picked those for $1.25 each. And then I went uh, through the um, Recollections new um, Simply Pastel section. So I ended up getting the paper pad, which I think is super pretty, very girly and springy. I can't wait to make uh, some girly cards with these. And then uh, the only embellishments that I picked up were the butterflies. I love these butterflies and I love the colors. They're so pretty. So um, that's what I got from that um, collection. And then um, I passed through the um, where they have the stickles and all that. And I found these liquid pearls which I thought matched perfectly with the Simply Pastel collection. See? Ooh, ooh, ooh. And these were on clearance for $2.99, so I had to snatch those up. And that was my haul from two weeks ago. And then yesterday I just stopped briefly to see what other um, clearance, Valentine clearance stuff they had. They had nothing, so um, what I ended up picking up was um, some of this twine from the $1.50 bin because I don't have any pastel color twine. Got the pink, purple, and blue, and I already used some of the blue. And then I did find um, this other stamp that I didn't see the time before, which is the Be Mine stamp. And this was 30 cents. That's the only clearance item I found. So that was my little haul, my little teeny weeny haul from yesterday. And so now let me show you uh, the uh, projects that I worked on. I made some cards. And uh, the first card that I made is this one here. This is a birthday card for my sister. And um, I used uh, this color block uh, paper pad. And it's called Girly Girl. And it's this really cute um, cupcake paper. This one here. So that's what I used uh, for my background. I used some basil textured cardstock. And so I used one of my Wilton um, pink heart doilies. I used some Hobby Lobby trim, which I'm loving. So I'm using it often now. And then uh, some pink flatback pearls at the top. And so then I wanted to keep the theme of the cupcake. So this is my take on a cupcake. I made um, the liner out of lace. I kind of, you know, bunched it up and that was my liner. I made a little, um, just a little decoration across with some flatback uh, pearls. And then for the frosting, I used some of my pink feathers and I squished them up together. I adhered them. And this is the cherry on top, this pretty little resin uh, ribbon flower. And then I just used some flowers for my stash from my local craft store. This huge uh, fabric flower. And then some other ones from downtown LA. And then this one here is a recollections flower from the $2 bin uh, from last year. So that's um, my first card. And Well, the inside I already written on it, so I'm not going to show you what... Um, I'm not going to show you the inside, but basically it's just some uh, a cupcake cut out or a die cut. And um, 
that that's basically it and it's out of white cardstock and then my second card um, is somewhat not finished but um, I'm still working on it uh, I think the front is already um, finished I just need to create something on the inside so for this card this is my second card this is a baby card I'm going to give this card to my um, brother and his girlfriend. Um, they're having a baby. We don't um, know when yet, but she's almost due. And I will be gifting this to them when uh, the baby arrives. So um, for this card, I used um, these uh, DCWV glitter cards that I got at my 99 cent only store. And... Um, so I used some of the Hobby Lobby trim and that's what's um, behind everything. And then I used a die cut uh, that is a um, postage stamp. And there's some cheesecloth behind that. And then I used some of the blue twine that I just picked up at um, Michael's. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, there's part of it there and it's hanging down this way. And... Um, I cut out this onesie from this um, stamp set here, this baby stamp set that I got from the paper studio. I picked this one up at Big Lots and that's the little onesie there. And I stamped it with some Studio G uh, blue ink and um, I kind of got some ink there but that's okay. It kind of looks like he's wearing his diaper underneath or I don't know but I thought it was cute so I left it there and then I used some of my little mini um, clothespins and I jazzed it up a little with some teeny tiny flatback pearls and so I hung the onesie there I did back it up just so that it wouldn't um, come off with some foam tape and then um, so I didn't want to put too many flowers because I didn't want to make it girly I tend to make stuff, um, you know, really girly, and this is my first actual uh, boy project. So um, I just used some fabric flowers here that that's um, holding the twine, and then a little blue uh, bow with the little pearl there, and I just added a little uh, S10 flower from I Am Roses on that corner, and then this is also from the stamp set. That's, um, uh, da, 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 da. okay, no, that's not from that stamp set, never mind. Uh, this is a Studio G stamp, and that's that one there, Welcome Little One. And I just uh, used some of the little tiny flatback pearls on each corner. And then this Baby Boy is uh, from that stamp set, that one there. And so this is my baby card. Like I said, the inside has nothing yet. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do for the inside, but I think it turned out super pretty. So these are my cards. I hope you guys like them. Leave some comments below, and thank you guys for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye!